Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy AG back again, man, with another quick little tutorial. Today, man, I'm gonna do a, a quick tip on sampling. Um, one of my subscribers that hit me up the other day, and uh, he was having some issues about um, about sampling this particular sample he was working with. So I was able to walk him through it uh, through through email, but um, you know, I figured that this probably is something that other people like me, when I first started out, didn't know, and it, and it can make your your sampling life very very simple. So um, here goes the tutorial, man. Um, again, at the end of the video, like rate subscribe um, comment all of that don't forget to follow me on twitter too uh at ag got beats all right um, so stay tuned and i hope you like it all right all right first thing you want to do is find you a four bar loop it has to be exactly four bars for this technique to work and like i said it ain't nothing no rock scientist something that i came up with it just to make everything extremely simple so what I did was I got the sample loaded up and it's exactly four bars, so. Two, 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 Alright, that's a four bar loop. So now what you want to do is you want to take that and chop it up into 16 equal slices. Now when you do that, Everything is going to be, all your samples are going to be chopped at a quarter note. So when you be able to, when you play it, you'll be able to play it on beat. And that, that'll help you out. So the first thing you want to do is find the tempo of the sample. Um, you can pitch it up, you can pitch it down before you start. So it, it, it's, it's totally up to you or you can keep the sample the same, the same speed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it at this, this speed right here just because, you know, it's easy for tutorial purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count it, count it out, and get the tempo of it. So here we go. Alright, so what I got is, is right at 82 BPM. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take that, that, that actual tempo and I'm gonna create a drum a drum beat to it. So, you know, just a just a regular, you know, one, two, one, two. Alright. Alright, so I went on and loaded some drums up and I created a four bar pattern. Um and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and record, lay some drums down, real simple boom bap, uh, uh, like something like that. Alright, so here we go. So there we go, we got just something simple right there. If you want, you can throw some, some hi hats up in there. Let's find some hi hats. Let's go ahead and throw them up in there. Alright. That just gives us a basic frame to work with. Now, so when we go back to our sample, we'll be able to play it on beat. All right, so. All right, there you have it. It's on 16 pads. It's all equally sliced into 16 pieces. And with that four bar loop, it's going to give you quarter notes. So you will be able to play it like. So when you put the beat to it, 
you'll be able to mess around with it as long as you hit it on those quarter notes it'll always be on beat so i'm not trying to make a beat i'm just trying to show you you know how to do it and you can you know rearrange the pads and play them any kind of way you want to play them and it's still on beat so check it out so You can, you know, you can play around with it, do it any kind of, let me stop that. You can play around with it, you know, rearrange them any kind of, you know, way you want to rearrange them and it's still going to be on beat. So this is a great way to start off sampling. First, you find your loop, your four bar loop. You got, it got to be four bars or it could be two or whatever, but it got to be an even, even number. And then you want to chop that up into that many pads. And if it's, if it's a four bar loop and you cut it up to 16 slices, then that's going to give you quarter notes. So on every, as long as you play it like that, it's going to be on beat. So if you do a two bar loop and you chop it up into 16 slices, it'll be just double the amount of time you got to play with it. So I hope this helps somebody out out there, man. You know, take this little tip right here, play with it, master it. And then um, it's, it's plenty of ways that you can use sampling to get your musical thoughts out for those of us that don't know how to play for real. So just find you a good loop. Um, four bars, find the tempo, chop it up into 16 slices, and play it on beat. And there you have it, man. All right, well, that was the tutorial. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you thumbs up, um, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more tutorials, that way you can stay up with the latest. Um, other than that, man, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at AGGotBeats. And um, to the next video, I have one coming up real soon. Peace.